viewers, thanks for joining us on Lena TV News. I am Harjana Umar Ragada. First, the headlines. Commissioner of Works and Infrastructure, his counterpart at the Budget and Planning Commission, embarks on joint inspection of ongoing urban renewal project. Commission of Basic and Secondary Education warned parents against forceful marriage and dropout of female children from school. Federal government promises to clear areas of 35,000 Naira wage award to workers. Stay tuned for details. The Commissioner, Minister of Works and Infrastructure, Niger State Honorable Suleiman Umar, and his counterpart of Ministry for Budget and Planning, Commission Honorable Mustafa Ndaju, have embarked on a joint inspection of ongoing urban renewal projects in the state, aimed to assess the progress and quality of the projects that have been implemented so far. The monitoring team led by the two ministries and their officials visited various ongoing road projects. Correspondent Company Report. During the inspection, Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure, Honorable Suleiman Umar, expresses utmost satisfaction with the level of work carried out by the contractors responsible for the execution of the projects. He, however, expressed dissatisfaction with the Mina B. Dowdall Carriage Road project from Garatu to Parkungu by Entata and Sao Construction Company, which exceeded the time frame despite payment of 12 billion naira, 67% of the project funds. Out of the total 17 billion naira total project funds, and only 40% of the work has been completed. The commissioner reiterated that they initially wanted terminating the contract. But due to the challenges the company faced, they have given them another chance. Initially, we wanted to terminate the contract. They uh, gave us reasons. Uh, the reasons they have, the problems that they have, the challenges they had. And uh, it seems they have not been able to respond to those challenges. So we have to advise the community. Speaking to the Assembled Media Commissioner for Budget and Planning, Mustafa Ndaju, highlighted the commitment of the state government towards urban renewal initiatives. He emphasized the importance of well-functioning infrastructure in driving economic growth and enhancing the quality of life for residents. Ndaju further emphasized the need for timely project delivery to meet the growing demands of urbanization while also calling on Niger Light to endure the inconvenience in terms of moving around as it is for the benefit of everyone. Generally we're impressed, you know, with, uh, with the progress that has been, that has been made. Um, although, you know, if you look within in the different projects, there are, you know, a few gaps in, in, in some instances. Um, but for, for the urban renewal project, uh, we are very, very happy. We are also very happy with the, with the, with the contractors. And we've heard from the, from the consultants that, that is handling the project that um, they are meeting all, you know, the quality assurance uh, standards. Um, we've also, you know, gone further, you know, to talk about, you know, discuss about the, the time frames, the timelines, whether or not we are meeting those timelines. And so far, we are we are meeting those uh, timelines. The message to Niger Light is that the the drive, the, His Excellency, uh, the former governor, Mohammed Omar Obagu's drive to reposition the state to, to become a new Niger is real and this is a testament you know, of, of, of that promise. Uh, the charter that he made during his campaign that he wants to move the state to a top five economy in, Ni in Nigeria. This is the foundation. We are laying the foundation for a better future for the state. And it's evident. Everywhere you go, you are seeing this. But it's not, it's not on paper. It's real. It's, it's going to anybody uh, that, that wishes to uh, that wish to see can, can, can see what is going on. So, like I said earlier, we'll have a bit of inconvenience in, in terms of moving around. Uh, but it's, you know, it's something that is usually consistent with this type of you know, developmental uh, projects. But eventually, you know, we will be very happy to wake up Sunday and, and see a very transformed uh, Niger State. In an interview with Lina TV, the project manager of Ntata Nsao, Nafi Bin Shaukat, 
highlighted the challenges they faced and assured that they will resume the work and complete it soonest. Thing about security, now you're speaking generally. There were so many issues, just not one issue. We started with the corona project again, where the whole nation was blocked and we couldn't start the work on time. Number one, number two, the project from Minapida, 84 kilometer, was turned to 15 kilometer dual carriageway, and we had mobilized for 84 kilometer. We still have lands close to Pita that we built for. However, we still had other inflation issues like diesel shoot up from one point to the other, doubling up all prices, so many different issues, but we are trying to make up and... Uh... The inspection serves as a testament to the government's dedication to transforming urban settlements, ensuring sustainable growth and enhancing the quality of life for the people of Niger State. The delegation visited various locations in the state where the ongoing urban renewal projects were underway including Skin Care Hospital Chanchaga, Chanchaga Doll Carriage Road, City Gate, Gidanbury Road, Entata and Sour Quarry Site, CCECC Workshop Maurice, among others. Harjana Umaragada reporting for Lena TV. Federal government has assured workers that it will clear the areas of the 35,000 Naira wage award. Just as it's also said, the government had resumed the payment of the wage award. The government also reiterated its commitment to addressing issues in the national minimum wage agreement reached with the organized labor in 2023. The Minister of Labor and Employment in Kiruka Onyejiocha disclosed the government's commitment towards implementing agreements with trade unions during separate meetings with the leadership of the Trade Union Congress and Congress of University Academics in Abuja. The Nigerian Communications Commission is set to advise Globalcom subscribers on the next steps following the expiration of its grace period for the barring of their lines from making calls to MTN lines over an unsettlement of interconnect charges. On 8 January, the NCC in a public notice signed by the Director of Public Affairs Department, Ruben Mokwa, disclosed that it has granted partial approval for the disconnection of Globacom from MTN Nigeria Communications PLC. It noted that at the expiration, of the 10 days from the date of its notice, subscribers of Globalcom will no longer be able to make calls to MTN, but will, but will be able to receive calls. In a bid to address the alarming rate of forceful marriage and dropout of female children from secondary schools, the United States Commissioner of Basic and Secondary Education, Dr. Hadiza Asabi Mohammed, has warned parents and guidance against the trend. She gave the warning during an advocacy visit to Kusun Dalikali village in Lavun local government area to address the issue of forceful marriage and dropout of female children while in school. The commissioner expressed deep concern over the prevalent practice of forcing young girls into early marriage while they are still pursuing their education. She emphasized the importance of education in empowering young girls and enabling them to reach their full potential and highlighted the detrimental effects of early marriages on the lives of young girls. Dr. Adiza stated that education is the key to unlocking opportunities and breaking the cycle of poverty, adding that it is disheartening to see young girls being deprived of their right to education and forced into marriages against their will. The commissioner engaged with the parents, the community leaders and students urging them to support the education of female children as she promised to provide the community with a conducive environment for teaching and learning based on their request to government. The commissioner's advocacy visitor Kusu Ndali Kali village was in company of Director General Educational Reforms Hajia Maimona Muhammad, directors from the ministry and representatives from Child's Rights Agency of the state, where a strong message was sent to the community. They had earlier advised the all stakeholders to rise in the fight against early marriages, 
and promote girls' child education as a collective responsibility that requires sustained efforts and commitment. The National Chairman of All Progressives Congress, Abdullahi Ganduji, has accused politicians of being responsible for the violence experienced during elections. Ganduji made his position known when the Independent National Electoral Commission's verification team visited him at the APC Secretariat headquarters in Abuja. Ganduji, who commended INEC officials for the visit, revealed that the APC will be active throughout the year, not only during the election. And that's about the size of our package on Lena TV News. Do all to follow us on our social media handles at Lena TV247. You can also visit our website at www.lenatv.com.ng. Thank you.